This is M1 account, and this will be my soul level 4 bow only naked playthrough of Dark Souls. I posted a video a few days ago of me killing Gwyn at soul level 4 with only a bow, and that was my conclusion to my first such playthrough. I thought it was kind of a stupid fight, but some, pe some people seem to like it, so here's a full playthrough. I'm making my character a black girl because I can. The restrictions to this playthrough are going to be, obviously, I can only use a bow. That includes crossbows, but I won't be using them anyway because I don't care. And I'm allowing myself to use fists, but only at one particular part in the game. And most people probably already know where, where I mean. And those of you who don't, you'll find out later. Number two, I can't level up at all. I'm soul level four right now, and I'll be soul level four at the end of the game. And the reason it has to be soul level four is because I have to start out as a hunter. And the reason for that is that the hunter gets a bow in the Undead Asylum. So being a hunter is the only way I would be able to escape the Undead Asylum without breaking rule number one, because I wouldn't have a bow with which to attack the Asylum Demon. Rule number three, I have to be naked. I took all of my armor off already. Rule number four, or whatever, is I have to beat every boss and mini boss in the game. And as of the time of me recording this, I actually have never beat Priscilla on any character. Because she's just too cute. So that'll be new to me. Uh, number five, I can't use any shields at all. Some people might think that's obvious because you can't use a shield while attacking with a bow. You have to attack with a bow two-handed. But you can very easily just have a shield equipped and switch to one-handed block and switch back. And being able to do that would make certain bosses a lot easier. So shields are out. And rule number six, or whatever number I'm on, is no summoning. Uh, I'm playing offline anyway, but even NPC fandoms can make certain bosses easier. Especially Ornstein and Smo. So I can't do that. Just to let everyone, everyone know right now, my commentary is going to be needlessly detailed. So... If you're a more experienced player, you probably won't even want to watch this playthrough. It's not going to be exciting. And I have no intention of being an interesting commentator. But hopefully this will be informative to, to newer players who want to try a playthrough like this, or even just in general. The Asylum Demon fight goes how you'd expect. The thing is, I probably look like I'm being way too cautious against the Asylum Demon of all bosses, but this is generally what it's like playing with a bow. You have to be cautious even against crappy enemies, because it attacks so slowly, you know, relative to its damage output, that you've pretty much always got to wait for the right times. Still, the Asylum Demon is the Asylum Demon, so he went down pretty easily. I think that's about it for this part, bye.